I don't know what's happened. I actually don't know what's happened today. This is the one. This is the show where we all we will check this way. Well, when when did the wheels finally come off? <laughs> and we'll say I think it was around the time we started a fight club and talked about C3PO <laughs> me off. <laughs> Tell me about your weekend. You went to Disneyland. I went to Disneyland. Dude. We had some texts on Sunday. How was it? I loved it. I I went in feeling kind of cynical, like I thought like oh, I'm not going to be one of those adults who loves Disneyland. And then, like, 30 seconds later, I saw Eeyore, and I was like, <gasps> Eeyore! And I loved it. I had so much fun. I was giggling on rides. I ate a donut shaped like Mickey. I couldn't have had a better time. Without kids, I do think it's yeah. weird. And, and, I, and I do heavily judge people that are there without children. Yeah. If, I'd seen, if I'd seen you there, I'd have been, like, pulling the kids away. Like, come this way, guys. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, you are like one fanny pack away from me being like, keep an eye on them because I, uh, there's something off about them. I was wearing a fanny pack. Yeah. We all feel all right. Everyone okay? When are you good? You sure? Yeah. Um, I do have a question. I'm going to open it up to the room. Okay, go on. Uh, fight or flight? What do you think you are? Fight or flight? Yeah. So I don't, I don't think I understand so, the question. Go on. Yeah. Like your first instinct when like goes down is to fight or run away. Yeah. I, I don't think I can be that pure about it. I think it depends what the situation is. Like, if I'm in an altercation with Jason Momoa, <laughs> I'm gone. <laughs> I am, I am running. If I'm in, if I'm in a situation with Adam Abramson, I fancy my chances. <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll fight up. I'll fight, I'll fight up. I would fight I, I'm you. an instantly fight, no matter the situation. But I don't like fighting. I think that's my <laughs> issue. Who would you, who would you fight in here, Combs? Absolutely anyone. Would you? Yeah. Would you? I'll you... fight Louis right now. No. I'll yeah. take side. Well, you I... wouldn't fight Tim side now. Tim. <laughs> With all due respect, all due respect, with all due respect, I would destroy you, man. <laughs> I would rip you apart. With all respect, with all respect. Oh, God! Oh, God! <laughs> what is happening? What is happening? into some kind of fight club and Tom said Tom just took his jacket off I, I gotta be ready I have to be ready I'm not getting caught flat footed here I looked over and Tom was like Poof. I gotta be loose I gotta be loose you never know who would you fight Winnie come on you started this whole fight club I know I know yeah I'll pick Hagar you'd fight Hagar yeah, yeah, yeah I'll fight Hagar yeah, yeah, I think you absolutely okay. destroy Hagar. No <laughs> way. <laughs> Do you realize you know what's crap, Hagar? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I tell you what, it's gearing up for a good Christmas party. <laughs> Congressional leaders seem to be coming together for at least a short-term compromise on raising the debt ceiling. But here's how dire it got. At one point, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer actually threatened to cancel the Senate's October recess. Schumer threatened to cancel recess. Not only that, but the big pizza party on Friday cancelled. And if you think <laughs> they're going to let the whole class dress up for Halloween and pass out Butterfingers, you've got another thing coming, buddy. <laughs> you know what I think? I think if the Senate wants us to take them more seriously, they really have to stop describing their time off as recess. <laughs> because recess seems to be what my children do at lunch every day. I don't think they can call it recess anymore. Why don't they just call it a break? Like, when we're, we're, we're off next week, keep watching, I don't know, Nick freaks out and we tell you we're not here. It's, <laughs> it's gonna be repeats, all right? It's gonna be repeats. I don't know what shows are repeating. Some of them will be fine, some won't. But. <laughs> That's not, the point is, we true. won't... You what? 
No, none of them will be fine. They're all great. I chose them all. <laughs> I chose let's not that. Be, let's not be that show. <laughs> let's not be that show. Let's admit our failings. Then they, let's admit they, they, are, they cannot all be great. Last night, great show. Monday, boring as <laughs> So let's, <laughs> like, let's, let's be a show that is honest with not just the audience, honest with ourselves. But why? Next week, there's going to be five repeats, <laughs> some of which will be worth your time. Like, that's... But the, the, the highs, I think, are high. And the lows are low. OK? <laughs> and I think that's all right. I think why, it's okay. Why, why do you think I would look at shows we've already made and decide I'm going to repeat the ones that were not good? <laughs> it's true. Good point. You have before. <laughs> oh, yeah, because you decide you need, like, 12 weeks off in the summer, so I have no choice. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Here it comes. So, did you not enjoy your summer break? Oh! Yeah, I got a chuckle over it, didn't it? First, it's the first time I've heard you laugh in 700 shows. Absolute little chuckle box, this one, tonight. Are you finding that funny because you've eaten some of Reggie's chocolate before the show? A little bit? You all right? my mind from time to time that you know obviously Reg has got his mic set up there with the band Ian's got this sort of thing where you push a button right to speak it's like a little pedal yeah so you push the pedal <laughs> everyone else gets walked around with this Nick Bernstein for some reason <laughs> has his own <laughs> microphone and I well, that's I, in his contract is it is it are you why why do you have your own microphone I mean because I think you ask me all sorts of questions all the time, and I don't want to answer them, but I guess because I'm mic'd, I have no choice. <laughs> oh, Nate's got, a, Nate's got a question. See, now we've got to wait for the microphone. Back it comes. So there's this, like, really upsetting moment that always happens. It's like, you're, you're saying something, we're interacting, and you know, he comes over and he brings the mic, but then he decides when you're done. So, like, <laughs> maybe you'll... Sorry, uh, Reg just got a question over here now. Because there's like so much, oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, because like, I think there's something about like a guy running around with a microphone not quite catching everybody that yeah. gives a looseness to the show or something. Yeah, like I think you're right. Cece, you wanted to say something as well, didn't you? <laughs> no, 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 sorry, you didn't. It was yeah, John it's... Kennedy, John Kennedy, sorry. I was just following through on what Tim was saying earlier. Right, back, back, back. yeah. <laughs> What's that, Rob? <laughs> no, I'm good, I'm good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> who do we think in here would be the best Bond? Who'd be the best Bond and who'd be the best villain? The, the, Nick, the, there's somebody in the audience pointing to Nick Bernstein. <laughs> Lady in the audience, why do you think Nick Bernstein? It's just <laughs> that attitude. This has spiralled out of control, guys. <laughs> I'm not even joking. This is actually... <laughs> thank you. Yeah, Nick just turned around and went, thank you. <laughs> what else am I supposed to do? No, she's That's giving you time. a heart sign. Have you come here for Nick Bernstein? <laughs> you've come for Nick only. James Bond is here. <laughs> And you've come for Nick Bernstein. You, Unbelievable. You couldn't have Bernstein in a Bond movie because Q would be showing Bond the gadgets. He'd be like, it's an Aston Martin with a machine gun. He's like, you can't say the name brand of the car. Yeah, you're <laughs> absolutely right. You're completely right. Other cars are available. <laughs> and finally, it was our sacred duty uh, to show you this. Walmart is selling an outdoor decoration 
called a bark ghost face. There's basically a face that you can put on a tree. Good enough. Until you take a close look at the nose. You know what's coming, Susan. Yeah. Have a look for yourself. <laughs> Can you see it? I mean, talk about a woodpecker. <laughs> how does this... How does it make it to market? Like, I'm amazed we're even allowed to show that on CBS. It's gonna be blurred, will that, right? Will that be blurred, Rob? We're OK, we're okay to show that. Yeah. My actual <laughs> looks less like a <laughs> than <Yeah>. that. <laughs>